we have rotational failure. Rotational slope failures. And we have compound failures. And the fourth one is plane failure. Sometimes we usually call plane failure as wedge failure. Compound means, you know, combination of both translational and rotational. Translation failure. Uh, occurs in infinite slopes uh, let me tell you so we have infinite slope here you just imagine a hilly slope now you see where you see if the failure occurs your failure plane is parallel to slope Failure plane is parallel to parallel to uh, slope surface. So now I can write here translation failure occurs in infinite slopes. So the earth is translating, so, so moving parallel to the slope. So this translation failure could happen in infinite slopes. Now coming to rotational engineers, they usually call a cup failure. Why? Because you know. This is happening uh, many times, it is happening in uh, finite slopes, occurs in finite slopes. So, the thing is, uh, why it is called cup failure? You see, this is a finite slope. Let me draw clearly. This is a finite slope. So one can see now it is a man made embankment. I can write embankment. This is the slope, or this is the angle of slope for your understanding, beta. It also beta. Zero. So this embankment is standing on a soil, the foundation soil. This is the foundation soil. One can see uh, this foundation, underneath the foundation soil, we have a rocky strata, hard rock, controlled by height. Beta is controlled by height. Now you see this is height. This is you see depth of your foundation soil. Depth of your foundation your failure plane. See here you see this is the center of rotation. So failure plane is assumed as an arc. First, that's why it is rotational. This is the selected failure surface. It is passing through the top. If your failure surface is passing through the toe, 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 toe of the embankment, you can call it as toe fail. If your failure surface passing through the face of the embankment, then it is called face failure. So here you can see this is face failure. If you will fail your surface, pass through the base, then it is called base failure. This is base failure, passing through the toe, toe failure. So this is entered into base, now I can call it base failure. So this is toe failure. This is face failure. So when will we ever expect base failure? When your embankment, when your when embankment is resting on weak soil. For example, your foundation soil is weak, weak in the sense soft soil. Your foundation soil is soft. Where you can expect base failure. 
for example we have a sufficient uh, your foundation soil having sufficient strength many times we expect to turf it so phase failure uh, is happened due to weak planes in the top soil so where we can expect phase failure so if your embankment is standing on uh, soft soil you can expect base failure one factor that is used for uh, categorizing the type of uh, ro rotational failure so that factor we are trying to call as depth factor d plus h by h h is height of the embankment i will write h is height of the embankment So here is depth, this is depth of the foundation soil. So one we can call exactly tofe. If DF is uh, less than one, we can call face failure. If DF, DF means one second I will tell you depth factor. This is the H plus D by H h plus d by h now you see if df is greater than 1 we can expect base 10 